Hello, David Attenborough. What animal do you think will become extinct next? Well, let's hope there won't be any, because there are lots of things we can do when animals are reduced to and danger of extinction. We can protect them. Uh, about 40 years ago, uh, I was with some mountain gorillas in central of Africa. Mountain gorillas uh, were then very, very rare. There was only 250 of them left. And we showed pictures of them on television around the world. And people thought how terrible it would be if these became extinct. So they subscribed lots of money and lots of people came to help. And now there are over a thousand of them. So you can save an animal if you want to, and you put your mind to it. People around the world are doing that because animals are so precious. So let's hope there won't be any more that go extinct. Hello, David Attenborough. I like spiders. Do you like spiders too? I love spiders. I'm so glad you like them. I think they're wonderful things. Why is it that people are so frightened of them? I think it's because they've actually got eight legs, which is much more than us. And if you've got eight legs, you can move in any direction. So you'll never be quite sure which way that spider's going to go. It's going this way or that way. So people don't like them, and they don't like them hairy legs either. But spiders are so clever. Have you ever watched one trying to build its web? That is extraordinary. How does it make this sort of circular web like that attached to trees on either side or bits of vegetation. How do they do it? Try and watch and see how they do it. It's marvellous. What animal do you like? I think I like monkeys best because they're such fun. They can jump all over the place and they can, uh, they, they don't bite, at least, well, some do, but a bit careful they don't bite. And they're so funny, uh, and I like them a lot. Mind you, you can't have monkeys sitting around the home because that's not where they live. They live out in the forest. So what can you have at home that you like? Well, which would you choose, a puppy or a kitten? It's a very difficult question. I think I'd go for a puppy. Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer Channel episode. On the 3rd of October 2020, Kenson Royal tweeted, to David Attenborough, we've got some questions for you. We have a world emoji, a spider emoji, and a monkey emoji. The tweet was accompanied by a video. September the 26th, 2020, Sir David Attenborough joined the Duke of Cambridge for a private outdoor screening of his upcoming film, David Attenborough, A Life on Our Planet, at Kensington Palace. The Duke and Sir David swapped seats during the screening. When Sir David met Prince George, he presented him with a giant shark tooth. Sir David said that he discovered the fossil during a family vacation to Malta in the 1960s. The tooth which once belonged to a megalodon is said to be 23 million years old. David Attenborough, having gifted it to the young prince last week, prompted Maltese culture minister Jose Herrera to say that the tooth should be in a local museum. However, Herrera decided to let the young royal keep his gift. Further to the initial remarks as reported in the Maltese media, Minister Herrera would like to reiterate that no action was initiated or will be taken on the issue, a ministry spokesperson said on Tuesday. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are delighted to share new photographs of their family with Sir David Attenborough, taken after the Duke and Sir David attended an outdoor screening of Sir David's upcoming feature film.
Thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media. And also, hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. Also, please do remember to subscribe to the channel. So, from me in Shropshire, goodbye.